Hey guys, very quickly I'm going to talk about the FNM promos and how some stores are actually selling them. And if your store is not giving them out because they're making excuses how it wasn't delivered, etc, etc, make sure that's true first of all. And also go on eBay to see if your store is listing them. Now the unique part about Fatal Puss, it is the last FNM promo. So being the last of something is very important. But also being a Fatal Puss promo with new artwork is quite important. Now stores get between 6 to 8 packs of these. Each pack contains, I assume, 8 or 10. I actually used to get these all the time from the stores as leftovers uh, when people didn't want them. But Fatal Puss would be something that people really really want and is in quite high demand now when you talk about fatal push it is about 20 to 25 dollars a copy you see all of these ebay listings you see dozens and dozens of ebay listings most of them are for play sets right because it makes sense the person has all of them it's not possible for this many people to have accumulated this many play sets of fatal push FNM just started, at least in Texas time, it started about two hours ago, not even two hours ago, one and a half hours ago, and my store did not have these promos. Now, there might be two things at play. One could be that the promos were did not arrive, which a lot of people are saying that happened, more people than normal, but the other, I believe the more likely issue is that the promos did arrive, Either a tournament organizer, the person working there, an employee, maybe the, a judge, maybe somebody, the store owner, said, huh, I have 60 to 80 copies of this card. What, and this card sells for 20 bucks a piece. Assuming you have 60 copies of it, that is $1,200. Remember, every FNM, you're supposed to get give out eight copies. Now, not only F every F&M you're supposed to give out eight copies, you, they always send additional copies just in case some of them get damaged or lost or something happens to it. So at a minimal, there are five F&Ms in this month. Let's assume they give you an extra package in case some damages or whatever as additional bonus. So you have six packets, each packet having between eight to ten. I think it was ten. I don't remember it being eight, but... Let's assume it's 10. You have 60 Fatal Push promos. Each Fatal Push promo currently selling on eBay for 20 plus dollars. That is a lot of money. That's $1,200, guys. And even if you think my math is not correct, let's take the minimal. Let's say 6 times 8 gives you 48. I mean, you're looking at a large amount of money for these promos anywhere between 20 to $25 a promo, and they sell for 75 a playset. There is a ton of money into these promos. There's a ton of cookies in the hand, and a lot of stores are saying they do not, did not receive them, including my local store. What do you believe? That this is the only promo they haven't received? Or do you believe that perhaps they said that they not, did not receive it, and is posted on eBay or Craigslist or for whatever reason, this website Etsy has like a lot of magic cards. I'm not sure why they have a lot of fake magic cards, but they also have a lot of real magic cards. Or maybe they just sold it in person, right? If I were a store, I would definitely not want it connected to me via eBay or Craigslist. I would want to sell it in person. I'd be like, hey, you come over here. And this is, deal has happened a ton. How did I know this happened? I've seen it. I have seen it in person. I've seen a, from my local game store, the previous tournament organizer was very scummy. And that's why I didn't go to the store for some time. And he showed all the file layer promos. The buy box file layer promos. How did I know? Because I wanted them and I was buying boxes. And there was none left. And I, I said... What, what do you mean there's none left? Like, I'm the first person to buy a box, right? Like, didn't you get the note that I should get a promo? I was like, no, no, we, we, we ran out. 
how did you run out? Like it doesn't make any sense. So the more the most typical thing that would happen is the store employee just takes it home and sits on it for some time, and then eventually when it clears, then they put them in the trade binder. So if your store employee has a lot of FNM promos in his trade binder, mm, mm, start asking questions. Anyway, bye guys.